And here are the 13 three-year-old charters who will be battling for $550,000 and a step toward perhaps three-year-old charter of the year or horse of the year. Number one is Cobol, owned by James Wheeler, Christina Tactor, Bill Peretti, and Ab Levesque. Florida, New Jersey, Sweden, Pear Erickson Trains, Mike Lachance Drives, three-year-old Colt by Pine Chip, winner of a division of the Zweig and a Meadowlands three-year-old Open. 1A, coupled, Victory Sam, owned by Christina Tactor, by Anderberg Stable and Tom Christensen of New Jersey and Sweden. Jimmy Tactor Trains and Drives, this Valley Victory Colt who won the review last week and an elimination of the Hamiltonian. Two is Cigar Bar, Owned by Arden Homestead Stable and Thomas Burtmark, New York and Sweden. John Johnson trains, Bernie Lynchstedt drives, a Lindy Lane three-year-old. He won an elimination of the 2001 Hamiltonian. He is driven by three-time World Trotting Derby winner and a Swedish standout driver, Bernie Lindstedt. 2A coupled Kremlin Conspiracy. Owned by K.G. Burtmark's Hinkstapab of Sweden. John Johnson, the trainer driver. A pine chip colt who won this year the Reynolds Stake. Three is Chasing Tail. Owned by Al Libfeld, Irving Liverman, Marvin Katz, and Sam Goldband of Canada. Chuck Sylvester trains John Campbell, who has won more than $180 million as a driver, will be behind the Donnerail Colt. Last year he won nearly 400000 This year he's won a division of the Zweig and is a New York Sire Stakes winner of the season. 3A is Liverman Hanover, owned by GDS Racing Stable, by Lindy Racing Stable, and Irving Liverman, Florida, Connecticut, Quebec. Chuck Sylvester trains. Tony Morgan will be in the bike. A Lindy Lane Colt. He was third in a Zweig and a Meadowlands three-year-old open this summer. Four is Banker Hall, owned by Tommy Anderson of Sweden. Carol Lundy trains. It's Trevor Ritchie from Ontario who's in the bike. A balanced image colt. $600,000 winner this year, four hundred dollars this year, the only million-dollar winner to date in the field. He comes off a win impressively in the Yonkers trot. He was the two-year-old champion. Five is Diamond Goal, owned by Anne-Marie Daly, by Albano, by Denise Seibel, and Peter Heffering, Florida, California, Ontario. Dan Daly trains. Eric Ledford drives the Armbro Gold Colt. He, a New Jersey Sire Stakes winner in 2001. Five is Diamond Gold. Coming on the track next will be a mare I can with the only, dri only driver's change in the race. It'll be the veteran Doug Ackerman behind Ameri Can today. He is owned by the Doug Ackerman Stables Incorporated, LaPorte, Indiana. Trained by Doug Ackerman. Doug will be in the bike. He was second in the Reynolds, the American National, and the Horseman Futurity last week at the Indiana State Fair. Seven is Pegasus Spur. Owned by Dorothy Hardy of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Roy Davis of Meadowlands, Pennsylvania, Chuck Stillings trains, Dick Stillings will be driving the SJ's photo colt. Pegasus Spur, second in the Hamiltonian. He won the American National. He a Pennsylvania Sire Stakes winner. Seven is Pegasus Spur. Eight, Levexter. Owned by Kevin and Colleen Bamford. By Brooke Nichols and Glenby Farms. Sweden, Florida, and New York. Brooke Nichols trains and drives the first lady driver in the World Trotting Derby. A three-year-old Mr. Levesque Colt, second in the review at Springfield for Brooke, second in a Hamiltonian elimination. Nine is Norvelous Hanover, owned by Stein Shirley, by Jim Sproul, Joe Sabraco, and Per Arne Clausen of Florida, Kentucky, Ohio, and Sweden. Errol Egan trains Dave Miller in the bike. This colt today wears trotting hobbles. A son of SJ's photo who won the horseman stake at Indianapolis and a Meadowlands three-year-old open. Completing the field, number 10, C.R. Kinetic, owned by Rod Allen of Ocala, Florida. Rodney trains and drives the Royal Troubadour son. He won a division of the Zweig. Rodney has won this race before with C.R.K. Susie. They're at the post. First heat.
of the 2001 World Trotting Derby, and the gate is rolling. Field of 13 three-year-old trotters in behind starter Gene Montgomery. Gate picks up speed, and here they come. They're often trotting from the outside. There goes Norvelous Hanover between trotters. Cigar bars out fast. Also away quickly. Pegasus Spur to the inside. Getting out next is Diamond Goal. Three-way battle up front on the outside. Cigar bar wins it. He's on top. He'll drop to the inside for Bernie Lynch that about to pick up cover second as they swing around the turn. Pegasus Spur. He'll get the trip. Racing third. Diamond Goal for Norvelous Hanover. Off stride goes Amer I Can. Racing next on the outside. Here comes Victory Sam. He's lost his cover. He's moving up now. Fifth, now fourth. Behind him. Banker Hall got away six. He's still there trotting seven as they reach the back stretch Levexter racing inside eight Kremlin conspiracy on the outside trotting nine as they straighten down the uh, backside and head toward the half mile juncture is CR kinetic and they're being led by a length and a half as they reach the half mile mark rushing to the front at uh, that juncture as they reach it is Pegasus Spur he has the lead by a neck on the outside, testing him there as they race past that mark toward the upper turn is Victory Sam. The half was trotted 55-3. Victory Sam applies pressure on the outside. Pegasus Spur leads it. Locked in tight. Cigar Bar is third. Trotting four still is Diamond Goal. And on the outside, beginning his drive, moving up very quickly now. A Levexter and sweeping way wide. Here comes Cobol. He's been nowhere near the front. Now he's trotting up a storm on the outside. Cobol is closing. And nowhere to be seen yet as they reach the three-quarter mile mark with Pegasus Spur getting a big jump is Banker Hall. He's buried in traffic. He's trying to weed his way through it as they reach the top of the lane. And Pegasus Spur has it his way. On the inside, Cigar Bar is there. On the outside, here comes a Diamond Goal. 124-4, top of the lane. They turn for home. Pegasus Spur had the lead. But on the outside, moving up Diamond Goal as they trot through the lane. Also, Cigar Bar is in the chase. Norvelous Hanover is there. They race through the lane to the wire. And trotting to the wire, it's going to be... Upset, big one, Diamond Goal wins it. Home second, Cigar Bar. Third, Pegasus Spur. Four, Norvelous Hanover. Five, Levexter. Six was Cobol. Seven was Chasing Tail. That's a major upset. 153-1, Eric Ledford has pulled it off with Diamond Goal. And if this result stands, and there's no reason to believe it won't stand, this will be the record payoff in the World Trotting Derby. He is 46 to 1. Diamond Goal.